Hello for watching this video. Um, basically today I'm going to explain how to actually create a speedometer chart and uh, a speedometer chart basically just looks like like this is the typical chart that it has a gauge and it tells you where you fall depending on your set criteria. So we are going to be defining the colors, the color areas so that you can see whether it's danger, warning or no problems. That's really up to you, that's up to your company criteria, but I will tell you how to actually create it. And how to create this one is basically two charts, one chart overposed to the other one. Is um, We have a donut chart in the background in which we will hide the bottom half to make it look like a half donut. And then on top of that, we, we have a pie chart, but uh, the majority of the pie is actually hidden. All we show is a little a little band which is just for the gauge and it, it makes it look like that so that when, when we change the number here to 78 it moves and it tells us that we're in the green area so how do we create these ones very simple okay so we are in this one let's have a look we need to define your colored areas i think for simplicity what i've what i've done here is the first one i chart will be composed of 200 points let's say just to make it rounded and i will hide 100 just make it simple and then the three colors will be like you will start from 0 to 33 33 but you could change that to 40 40 20 if you like that but that's absolutely fine it's down to you uh, so we uh, highlight everything and what we do is we in, we insert a donut chart so the first chart looks like that but I believe we we kind of need to turn it around so that we need to start at 270 degrees how do we do that we Click in format series and in here we see the angle of the first slide is going to be 270 and it just looks like that. Um, I think, uh, yeah, let's, let's reduce the whole size to make it look a little bit better and it just looks good enough to me. Second one is let's hide. Let's hide that one by filling with no fill. Now it's it's good. We get rid of that one and we get rid of that one and then we will change. I just leave the colors there, but basically you pick. Well, let's let's do that very quickly. Uh, let's pick the red there. Let's pick that one. Okay, so we have the first part. The second part is we actually have to define the, the gauge. And um, um, so I'm, I'm just going to do that nothing. And that nothing as well. And sorry, I forgot to say no border so that you can see on this. No fill, no border. So basically all transparent. And now we can say like this. The second one is basically defining the, the gates. And how do we do that? Is again, it has to start at 270 degrees. But the first 50, um, well, this 50 is actually designed by, the, is, is basically coming from the value that you entered. But basically the gate will start at whichever value you do and it will last for just one point. So, Again, we cannot do this one and we insert, and instead of a donut, what we insert now is a pie chart. And as you can see, it would look like this, but we don't want it to look like this. So again, we select that one and we go into this area and we say the angle of the first slice is 270. As you can see now, it looks like that. And what we do is we need to hide everything again. So we hide that one and we hide that one. With no borders, I missed the other one border. No borders, and then we hide everything so that. Oops, I made a slight mistake here. That's not. And then what we want to let's let's say that one is actually a strong black. Ah, uh, that's not the one. Yeah, like that. 
And all it is now, we basically need to to, to just put it like that. Yeah? So what we have is that chart there, and that chart there. If we go to format now, and we do we align centered and we align middle, we have one on top of the other one. When we change now to 78, we can see that that changes. And, and that's it. Um, as you can see, it's actually not, not very difficult. And it's a very nice chart to really show, because people understand visuals a lot better than perhaps numbers. It's very simple for the audience to really understand whether they are in the green area or the yellow or the red, and they, they should actually take real action or not. So thanks for watching me, watching this video. If you actually want to follow me, this is the blog. Um, I have a lot of Excel tips on how to make video, t you know, how to make a lot of things, video tutorials, not, not just normal tutorials, tricks, suggestions, techniques, dashboards. We have a lot of stuff, so check it out. And um, yeah, you can follow me on Facebook. It's the wizard of Excel. You can also follow me on Twitter at the wizard of Excel as well, I think. Um, thank you. Thank you very much.